A is a lawyer with the appearance of a high roller and a successful career. He's ostensibly a member of the legal lead, but there's something petty about him behind the scenes. He also hides an ulterior motive that intrigues his colleagues. He was seen as almost the perfect man and was envied by his co-workers, despite his success in the workplace. But Ace's true passion seems to be more invested in the everyday life of snagging discounted ingredients. Every day after work, he would make a mad dash to various supermarkets. He'll agonize over finding a cheaper brisket and kick himself for not missing a sale. This makes him a cheap ingredient hunter chasing ingredient deals. As Ace makes a mad dash home with his ingredients, he catches the moment to hit the stop cooking button. I just avoided the fate of the burdock and mushroom cooked rice and the dinner preparation to fizzle out. This down to earth, life-loving side contrasts with his image in the workplace and so began his daily food operation. Ace's exclusive recipe is kept a mystery and not revealed to the general public. Finally, he added the torn pieces of mushrooms, ready to go on the pan and start steaming. In another pot, he prepared a down-home miso soup with pork and stemless leaves as the main ingredients. Ingredients float in and out of the pan, spreading their aroma around. In addition, Ace plans to heat up scrambled eggs, shredded bamboo shoots and squash. A bright smile appeared on Ace's face as she looked at the colorful hot stir-fry. As expected, Chinese hot stir-fry is the most popular cuisine everywhere you go. And for Ace, cooking a hearty and delicious dinner is just as good as solving a tough case. They bring satisfaction and fulfillment. And what perpetuates this happiness is the man who now pushes his way in. His name is Brent. He hadn't had time to take a deep breath of the scent of food that filled the air. The shopping bag he was holding was snatched out of his hand by a sharp-eyed ace. The price of the item on the small check stung ace eyes, seeing that the finicky kazu was about to explode. Brandt immediately bowed his head and admitted his mistake. The comment not only calmed ace's anger, but it also really sprinkled in some cool sweetness. What is the definition of happiness when you have a table for two, three meals and for seasons? Maybe it's when I wash my hands and make soup for you and you don't inquire about the price just so I can taste the dessert of my choice. Their story is just beginning. When you find out that your significant other is secretly dating someone else, do you sit back and ruminate? Brent had this problem. One minute he's saying that Ace is having a super lucky day in love. The next second, the screen of the cell phone. Ace had forgotten on her way out the door lit up. A woman named Claire actually asked him to meet her tonight and mentioned the usual place. Just before Brent could return to his senses, Ace returned to get his cell phone. He handed it to Ace with great reluctance. The shovel Brent didn't work at the hairdresser's. He lay straight back in the couch, his mind running away with him. The clock is slowly approaching 7 o'clock. Eventually he makes up his mind to sneak out to the date place and squat. Will he betray himself? Ace, who knows nothing at this point, is mediating an illegal collection case. The only thing he wants from his job is to get off at 6 sharp. Otherwise he'll miss out on a huge wave of discounted deals. Immediately after work, he rushed into the supermarket to purchase ingredients, unbeknownst to him. In a moment he will encounter Brent, who is peeking off to the side, and it all started with the watermelon spelling incident two weeks ago. Ace, who is also a family man, and Claire hit it off right away. Faced with a watermelon on special, the two strangers tacitly agreed to spell it out. Ace then follows Claire to her home, though there was a huge misunderstanding in the middle. When Wong Wakaw thought Ace was looking at her very advantageous breasts, Ace is also first to reveal that he actually likes men, but it didn't stop the two from meeting up to do their grocery shopping together in the future. Claire even made her own specialty dish to serve Ace. Brent was instantly relieved to learn the truth. Ace reminisced as he prepared the dish, and with the rise of his knife, he perfectly replicated Claire's best secret cold noodles. Not bad for a man who is a superb cook in Brent's eyes. The secret to this dish is to put in lots of spices, finely slice the Ming and Shiso ginger and scallions into even julienne strips and sprinkle with crushed sesame seeds to enhance the flavor. Brand even didn't eat all day because he was rambling. As soon as the delicacy was on the table, he couldn't wait to get started. Brand eats and spits out Ace's extensive love history, and looks so aggrieved he wants to punch him in the face, and Ace decides to ignore him, and prepares to make jam out of the strawberries that came back from tonight's collage. He sterilized the jars by tumbling them in boiling water, before placing them on a clean towel to control the water. Wash the strawberries. Sprinkle with a little castor sugar and leave to stand for three hours. When the time is up, pour the marinated strawberries into an enameled pan to microcook. The strawberries will oust the aromatic juices from the penetration of the granulated sugar. This way we don't need to add additional water. To serve, drizzle the simmering strawberry sauce over the toasted slices. In one bite, the crispy toast is savory and creamy, and the rosy gem is tart and sweet. It's like the people stumbling around in love grinding each other to mutual fulfillment in the sweetest and most beautiful way. Ace, 45, went home to visit his parents, facing his mom and dad. 
who have been looking forward to their son's family. Ace feels deeply guilty. Even the richest food is hard to swallow at the moment. Until mom said that to him, as much as they didn't want to believe it, they had no choice but to recognize the fact. On this day, Ace learns to cook for the first time with Claire, the housewife. They skillfully shred a whole cabbage and add the shredded carrots along with it into a large bowl. Add the Miriam's milk zest and mix well. I have to say Claire is really understanding. And Mr. Claire's is even better. Kibrin's son, who is also gay, to Ace, looking at the good-looking son in front of him. Ace's mind was wondering if his boyfriend's 800-meter machete had been sheathed. It turns out that Ace was overthinking it, and son has a good-looking live-in boyfriend. He's currently unemployed in that home, and his jealousy is nothing less than that of a woman in a passionate relationship. Son who came home late would be shut out and pathetically kept begging for peace to satisfy the other's possessiveness. Though son's words were full of sadness, Ace caught a whiff of silent sweetness in them. He hastily ended the polite and not-so-awkward get-together. Ace rushed home to prepare dinner. Due to some delays, tonight's cuisine is quick and concise-oriented. Take an onion and resist the fishy smell and cut it into a nice crescent shape. Use the thigh portion of the chicken, which is more tender and juicy, and bonelessly slice it into eight equal portions. Slowly saute chicken skin side down over medium-low heat. Fry until golden brown on both sides, then remove from the pan and add the previously prepared minced garlic and onion to the pan. Red Delight Mushrooms on Special To be eaten while still fresh, once all the ingredients are fried, add 200 grams of tomato paste for color. The pot on the stove was poofing and bubbling, so while that was happening, plate the cold kohlrabi Claire gifted. When the pan juices are reduced to half of their original amount, add the brown chicken dice, and just in time, Grant wrapped up work and went home. Dinner began, listening to Brand's constant compliments and cheerful munching. Happy feelings slowly overflowed from both of their chests. While food heals you, it also affects the state of mind of those around you. And the sweetheart he misses, attorney Ace, at this point in the office, being hounded by gossipy co-workers were to go on a date tonight on Christmas Eve. Ace, on the other hand, is preoccupied with getting off work on time and rushing to her usual supermarket to shop for special ingredients. I did have a surprise today. Originally canned tomatoes were $88 for a can. The Christmas special was only $100 for Tukens. Ace didn't hesitate to take Tukens and put them in his cart. He turned his head to see Santa Claus in the distance, playing with the children. This outgoing attitude is like her own three years ago. When Ace first stepped foot in a same-sex club, he was confident, but he was hit with some dropkicks from Slugger. That was the moment he realized that there were popular types of the same sex. And at the time, I was like a woman without makeup going on a blind date, but it was also on this forgotten night. Ace befriends the most important man in her life, Grant, this man who later ended up living in his house because a leak upstairs flooded the house. It was then that I mustered up the courage to invite myself to the happy life I have now. Today's special day will be spent as it has been in the past. First is the lasagna. He added chopped garlic, celery, onions, and carrots to the pan and carefully tossed them. Add the stirred pork and saute until broken. Pour the can of tomatoes into the pan and stir fry a few times. Then, you can catch the rest of the empty cans in water and shake them a few times and pour them into the pot. So a little bit of sauce can go to waste. Next throw in the bouillon cubes and herbs to the pot and grab a pinch of salt and pepper to taste. Bake a white sauce while the sauce is cooking. Cook while stirring until thickened and finish with salt and pepper. Mineral water is needed for the next dish. Add a little salad oil and salt and bring to a boil. Add six slices of lasagna noodles and cook. Spread the cooked tomato sauce in a baking dish. Place the slices of lasagna and layer with white sauce and spinach. Repeat this process two more times and it's ready for the oven. Also, how can you have Christmas without chicken? Tender boneless sliced chicken thighs, bowl with breadcrumbs, parmesan cheese mix and minced garlic. More salt is the secret to good flavor. Toss with olive oil and give the chicken thighs a massage. Then turn on the grill with the lasagna. Just as I was thinking about that, Grant came back. He also brought a Christmas gift for Ace. And an ambiguous atmosphere instantly enveloped the duo. Three years of Christmas, same Christmas dinner. The only thing that changes is time. And the only thing that doesn't change is the heart that accompanies you and the you in front of you. Men who are too good for their own good have their own troubles. Ace, a lawyer with a special identity, then makes a series of oopsies because of her excessive narcissism. He almost skimped on even his favorite dinner. He mistakes the female in turn's act of adoration for a sign of affection. He will also interpret Gay Sun's request for a dinner date as a fierce courtship attack on himself. One turned out to be a brainless daughter who only focused on her work. One is a bad guy who only loves his boyfriend who is a daily demon. Ace, who had twice been mistaken, had been listless all day, and was very much puzzled. How could they resist the charm that I exuded all the time? I'm no longer in the mood for a hearty evening today. 
So I'll just have a random fondue to deal with Brent and myself. What are the little blessings in life? It's probably like trying to buy discounted chicken thighs and the cooler is empty. He was staggering with disappointment when he snapped to the realization that there was a box of chicken wings lying alone in the deepest part of the cooler. He picked it up to see that it was going to force a original price of $650. While the heavenly man was at war, the clerk surprised him with a half-price tag. Happiness comes so suddenly that Ace immediately decides to thank God by making buffalo chicken fun to tonight. He had wanted to be lazy because of the days running around, and he had made up his mind to fix another dinner in one pot. All the while, Ace's mind kept drifting back to the awkward daytime situation. Trembling hands, grimace, couldn't bear it. He better make a fry boutique to stabilize his mind well, drizzle with sesame oil, after evenly coating the ingredients with it. Add the wine, sugar, dipping sauce and mirin and saute, then add a little vinegar to add layers of flavor. It's almost time to deal with the ingredients for the fondue. Mushroom carving is too much trouble to keep up with the mood. Everything into halves, saving time, effort and worry. Cabbage roots are harder to cook and soften, so they are blanched up in the pan first. Everything is in place, just waiting for that appreciative person to push open the door to the house. There is still plenty of the dipping sauce that I made earlier, so take it out of the fridge and serve it straight away. Sure enough, Brent, who arrived home on time, got his dinner of buffalo chicken potage. He couldn't even be bothered with the lenses that were kettled by the heat. Does this wolfing down of food look like the love of your life? The finished soup base is the essence of the hot pot, which Ace, who is a careful budgeter, can never waste. He puts the cooked white rice in a colander, washes off the stickiness with water, and then puts it in a soup base with salt and cooks it. The final hit of the finishing egg wash made Bren's mouth hot to the touch, and he ate it with a straight face. The good and the annoying things in life are digested a little bit. Things are not going well and you are depressed, so let eating become another kind of healing happiness. What a thrilling sight it is to see for men and to couples eating together. On the surface, it looks calm, but in reality, there is a dark tide. I have to say that son's boyfriend is genuinely a do-gooder. Where the pop calls the kettle black, a few words made Brent's face hard, and, although Ace was calm on the outside, she was very panicked on the inside. The good thing is that it's also because of his own straight masculinity that makes it almost impossible for Ace to cheat. This, in turn, gives Brent a moment of girlishness. The next day, Brent is all smiles all day, but it turns out it's because Ace got a bad cold from the rain last night. Brent excitedly took his co-worker's little hand at the thought of making his dinner today. When he got home from work, he put a cute ice patch on Ace, but he still couldn't hide the joy in his heart. Ace looks at the seemingly thoughtful Brent and is tempted to question whether he's enjoying himself, but he didn't even have the strength to choke him. Putting on his apron, Brent confidently began to cook dinner. Take one quarter piece of tender tofu and microwave it for one minute, then put something heavy on it to press out the water. Carefully wash the soil from the spinach roots. Follow the video today to learn how to make an omelet. First, mix a stock measuring cup. Pour in 80 milliliters of water and put in some Hoffman stock powder. Take three more eggs and scrape the whites up from the bottom of the bowl to chop them as you mix. Add the broth you just blended and repeat what you just did. The next step is the most critical one that affects success. Heat a frying pan over high heat, reduce the heat to low when it starts to smoke, and coat the bottom of the pan with a paper towel soaked in salad oil. Use a soup ladle to fish out a spoonful of the egg mixture and rush it in while the frying pan isn't looking. However, a scream causes Ace to sit up and shock from her almost dying illness. Turns out Brent was surprised by the fried egg mixture. When the surface that has been poked through the bubbles begins to thicken, flick the egg three times in your direction. Continue to put the egg mixture into the empty space and repeat the previous operation after the omelette is slowly formed. It's a mediocre cellar, but it sure tastes like the one sold outside. Stir well and toss in the previously tenderized tofu mix. Cut the blanched spinach into small pieces at random. Squeeze out the water and put them into a bowl together. Flip and stir 800 times, and the sesame dressing with spinach is done. Besides, how can a sick person go without porridge? Once the white rice is rinsed of its stickiness, add the water and stock. Once the rice porridge is piping hot and tender, remove the ace treasured chicken thighs and cut them into bite-sized pieces. Toss it slightly in the rice porridge and finish by beating the egg. He snapped to attention that cutting boards that had cut raw meat could not be recycled. So close seemed to have her to Ace growl. Everything is ready. Pink bubbles rose in Ace's heart as she looked at the simple but heartfelt dinner in front of her. To give back to Brent, he made him an after-dinner banana cream bar. The cake is mellow and dense in the mouth, and the banana and cream are to die for. Happiness is when even the air is sweet. There is no such thing as to lovers, but a love at first sight and a love that has lasted a long time. A man adopts his lover as his foster son to avoid his obligation to support his parents. 
he also made it possible for him to inherit his entire estate without any problems. A journey Ace came across this odd case. On this day, Ace receives a text message from her lover, Brent, asking for help. A couple friends are coming to visit at home to talk about a probate appointment and to have dinner. Ace is suddenly a little overwhelmed because he had heard that the upcoming guests were very particular about their food. He even uses organic seasonings, so you can't see how discerning his tastes are. Ace can only shop at the organic supermarket. With the mindset of hemorrhaging money, cauliflower is $430 a piece. He couldn't stay a second longer, breaking his frugal principles to say face is not a style of dealing with people. He's still shopping at the supermarket frequent. I think, luckily he had already washed the rice in the morning. Let's start by cutting up an eggplant and colored peppers. Two colored peppers are reamed into thick strips and placed in the pan. Next take half a piece of konyaku and tear it into bite-sized pieces and blanch it. Half a carrot, half a burdock, and a small piece of lotus root cut into random pieces. Ace secretly marveled as he did so they paste a stock up. Put the two pieces of salted salmon, left over from the previous casserole directly into the oven to adjust the time and temperature. Save your mind and energy, two cups of rice with two cups of sushi vinegar. Take two more small undeveloped cucumbers and slice them thinly. Add salt and let them sit to remove the water. Beat two eggs, stir with salt, and fry with sesame oil for a fresher flavor. Salted salmon is baked, charred skin and bones removed and chopped, and tossed into vinegared rice with scrambled eggs. Salmon omelette cucumber toss sushi is ready to shine. Turn out a forgotten broccoli in the refrigerator. Break it into small pieces and blanch it in boiling water. One dried plum chopped and tossed with mayonnaise wasabi drizzle and a little soy sauce. The broccoli dip was really flavorful. Just when everything was ready, the guests arrived as promised. After tasting Ace's carefully prepared cuisine, they even exclaimed that they had never had such a delicious family feast. Then they also finally spilled the beans about the commission. It turns out that Mr. T. 59 runs several upscale restaurants. He was quite wealthy, but never married and had children, and the particular sexual orientation was not understood by the parents. Even if there is a will, the law states that one third of the property is left to the parents. Instead, he just wants to keep it for his boyfriend. After all, their relationship is not like a marriage, with legally binding contracts and responsibilities. He has no choice but to turn to Ace for help. <laughs> Moral dimensions aside, everyone has a choice. People are given the choice to live the way they are most comfortable, find the meaning of the good life by sharing favorite foods with the people who matter. How popular is the single, high-flying legally lit? Just look at the women surrounding him for the answer. Yet he is very bitter because he has an ulterior motive. Superior looking and successful ace is among a group of middle-aged men with big bellies. He simply stands out and shines, surrounded by women of all shapes and sizes. In the face of the beauty's constant discharges, ace stares at the rings on the couple's hands, seemingly in thought, surfing out. Ace just wants to lay flat when he gets home. Looking back at the points of the walk, he suddenly realized, the reason I will now cook so much fine dying every day is because I have an important person in my life. So Ace decides to give Brent a matching ring for his birthday. Brent was very happy when he learned it of Ace's idea. The woman's ecstasy at being proposed to is shown by him. But when he realizes that Ace is actually trying to cut down on the hassle and keep other women away from him, another flash of loss in Brent's eyes didn't deter him from picking out the pair of rings. At Brent's strong request, the rings were engraved with both of their names and birthdays. Turning to the day of Brent's birthday, Ace's twisted face was pressed against the meter tube. The meter was empty, and he hadn't actually noticed it ahead of time. There was also only one lone rice cake left from the mountain of rice cakes in the freezer. Brent's birthday party is going to be awkward. Luckily, the pasta was still in stock, and he could make another Italian mixed vegetable soup on the spot. Slice the bacon into 3 centimeter slices. Carrots are about 8 centimeters. Take the leaves of the celery and cut them into 5 centimeter long pieces. He made sure it was right and then tossed it into the pen together. Chop a potato and kohlrabi on the side, both of which can be added to the pot later. Discounted tomatoes chopped 3 times horizontally and 3 times vertically were thrown into the pan and sauteed until the tomatoes came out of the sand and melted. Take some more time to make a salad with the turnips. Make a massage with salt, lemon juice, soy sauce, mustard and olive oil to make a salad dressing. Toss again with the turnips. Birthday spaghetti has to be more elaborate than the previous one, or no one will be able to top Brent's mammoth pretensions. Heat a pan with a little olive oil and toss with minced garlic. Cut the red delight and shiitic mushrooms into even pieces. Heat the water below and add the mushrooms to the hot pan. Pour the canned tuna into the pan with the oil. To season just dip in pasta sauce and pepper. Pour a little plain milk at the end. The aroma was overflowing when it was plated. Sure enough, 
It was so much better than the short version I was eating on my own. The sizzling soup was served with pasta salad. The sense of ambience and ritual is instantly pulled together. Gran was beaming. He knew what was in front of him was not just good food. It was a thought and worth treasuring for a lifetime. It's not just the $140.000 pair of rings. It's the man across the street who keeps giving. It took me so long to realize that it's not just for women to cry and hand themselves. It works for men as well. Brent is deeply in love with Ace and cherishes his hard-won bond. On this day, her best friend Sun invites Ace to dinner. His smell a hint of danger in Ace's evasive back. He recalled the advice of the store manager's wife during the day and looked at the beaming Ace in front of him. Brent's mind was more than just tipped over with vinegar. It was more like panic and confusion. After all, the people in a 5 kilometers radius who would daydream about it all started with an impossible mindset. And what a painful realization Brent's concern about this was once. Having destroyed with his own hands everything he had, he was afraid that retribution would come to him. He's going to stop it all. Looking at Brent, who was crying in pain in front of him, Ace finally spoke his mind. Turning around Ace declined Sun's invitation. After some cloudbursts comes holiday brunch, the first meal where misunderstandings are cleared up. Then celebrate by making crepes. Start by melting 30 grams of butter over low heat. Mix 100 grams of flour and 20 grams of sugar and sift vigorously. Next, beat into eggs and mix thoroughly. Prepare another 250 milliliters of low-fat plain milk and add it inside the flour batter into batches. Choose low-fat because it's cheaper. To be on the safe side, sift the blended batter again through the same strainer you just used. Seal with plastic wrap and place in the refrigerator for half an hour. Finally shred the onion and sprinkle with a pinch of salt. Slice the tomatoes and gherkins into thick slices and tear the lettuce into small pieces at random. When the onions are soft, rinse them with water. Squeeze out the water vigorously and add to the can of cod. On a round slice of ham, break the whole eggs and fry them slightly. Chock up dark chocolates are poured into the milk and heated in the microwave until melted to make a delicious chocolate sauce. I'll leave the physical labor of manually whipping the cream to Brent. Remove the batter from the refrigerator and pour it into the heated pan, swirling it around to make it flow evenly and flat. When the bottom of the pastry is set, quickly flip it over when he's not looking. The spread crepes are plated and then supplemented with various topping ingredients. A super luxurious holiday brunch is complete. The melted cheese with the half-cooked egg yolks and the savory flavor of the ham was a perfect match. The mayonnaise tuna is also super tasty and there is no absolutely exclusive pairing. Only what suits your taste, just like some people. They will be at their best at the right time. What more could a man ask for when life is like this? I've seen a lot of scheming women, but this is the first time I've seen a scheming man. Men are simply more jealous than women. This year's Christmas was different from those of previous years. Because, Sun wants to ask Ace out for a Christmas Eve dinner. But Ace decides to invite them over for a potluck dinner. In order to save unnecessary expenses, Brent also started Christmas decorating with great anticipation. A court battle between men is also about to take place. Ace is serious about cooking. Sure enough, confident men radiate at all times. Brent also hurriedly pulled out his newly purchased pair of rings and carefully placed them on his hands. And he's going to enjoy himself. Shortly afterward, the guests arrived as promised. Sun brings champagne and cake, which Brent holds to his face. He also purposely showed his hand with a pair of rings on full display. Yet Sun turns a blind eye, which in turn gets Jeremy's attention. Watching his face contort with jealousy made Brent's heart happy. Faced with a table full of well-cooked food, Jeremy unsurprisingly gets down to business. Brent wasn't far behind in showing off his love. Christmas dinner hadn't even started yet, and already swords were being drawn between the two. Sun, on the other hand, ate with his eyes squinting into theater slits and kept raving about it. Only Jeremy is picking at the food calorie blasts. While it's a fat full meal, he was desperately trying to shove it into his mouth again, while his hands and feet kept going. In no time and all the table full of food had been devoured. Ace also thoughtfully served each person an Earl Grey smoothie at the end of the meal. If you don't have enough face value, then taste will do. The key is that it's easy to make and easy to watch. First, pour mineral water into a pot and bring it to a boil. Add two bags of Earl Grey tea bags. Quickly turn off the heat and simmer for three minutes with the lid on. Then pour in 500 ml of plain milk. Add 70 grams of caster sugar and 140 milliliters of condensed milk and stir until the ingredients are dissolved. Then strain out the tea bags. Pour the remaining liquid into a baking dish and place in the refrigerator to chill. Take it out and stir it with a fork a couple times before it's fully set. After that it continues to freeze for about 4 hours and it's done. Completely overwhelmed by the food, Jeremy had his heart set on a New Year's Eve dinner. Ace, on the other hand, grimaces and ultimately declines Jeremy's offer. 
Everyone was surprised and very confused by Ace's decision. Ace also gave his reasons. Since you can change your sexuality, maximize your comfort with your parents, maybe this is the right decision for Ace. Life is short, but happiness is full. When you have a loved one with you, as the saying goes, an ugly daughter-in-law always has to meet her mother-in-law. Yet Ace's parents are welcomed by a pseudo-man. The first time he made a house call, he stood in the doorway for those few seconds. For Brett, it's hard to feel like centuries have passed, whether it's the various suggestions his co-workers gave him last night, or the million-dollar tangle he faced this morning with an entire checkroom. At the moment, he was a young daughter-in-law, waiting to be inspected by our future parents-in-law. After a few pleasantries, the four of them Saturday around the table, eight eyes facing each other, bringing the whole atmosphere down to freezing point instantly. It seems Brent isn't the only one who's nervous, either. To break the awkwardness, that pulls Brent aside for some small talk. He inadvertently flipped through a picture of Ace in high school, before slowly opening up with Brent. On the other side, Mom was instructing Ace on the secret fried chicken. Add the chopped ginger paste and garlic paste to the chopped chicken thighs. Finally, pour in the egg mixture that Ace whisked 800 times. Then, as his mom requested, he took the turnip leaves and dried anchovies out of the refrigerator. It's a dish Ace grew up eating. So he decided to take matters into his own hands, cut the turnip leaves into small pieces, and saute the dried anchovies and sesame oil until dry and crunchy. Next up was fried chicken. Coat the massage chicken thighs with tahini. Turn on low temperature and deep fry for 3 minutes. Increase the heat again to bring the oil up to temperature. Served with chopped baby limes for a refreshing antidote. It was surprisingly good enough to make Bren a little forgetful, seeing that things were going in the wrong direction. That pulled the day's mom away. After a while, Mom's uncharacteristic effervescence made Brand even more flustered. Ace is also in the clouds and doesn't know what's going on. The atmosphere next began to be relaxed and casual. A genuine smile remained on Mom's face until Ace and the guys left. On the way Ace realizes the reason for her mom's change in attitude. It turns out that it's the parents who are concerned about the identity Ace plays in homosexuality. When it was revealed that Ace was a male character, they let it go, and Brand quietly carries it all. On the second day of the new year, Ace takes Brent to the supermarket where he does his daily shopping. With a reminder from an eager clerk, he got his favorite dipping sauce and the low-cost milk of a lifetime. Then they went for a little sit-down at the cafe Brent had been longing for. Like the normal couples around them, it was as if they were just one of the usual ones. Back home, Brent trims Ace's hair. Confronted with Ace's already open heart and growing gray hair, Brent wrapped his arms around him in a hug. They just quietly enjoyed each other's body heat. Maybe it is such a simple and ordinary life is the real wish for a person's heart. White Hat will not leave each other. The return of the masked writer brings a surprise that leads Brent to believe that Ace is breaking up with him. However, the fact that Ace just wanted to tell him one little thing relieves Brent. He also blames Ace for delivering the message with such a serious expression. However, it didn't take long for Ace to apologize again. This makes Brent uneasy again, worried that this time it will be something big. As it turns out, Brent's previous physical showed high cholesterol. Ace attributes this to controlling his own budget and buying cheap muscle food for a long time. This caused Ace to start blaming himself. He is concerned that his eating habits may be taking a toll on Brent's health. Brent looks at Ace, a man who blames himself for his own health. An emotion wells up inside him, though Ace's frugality bothers him at times, but also understand that Ace is there for their retirement security. Brent feels like the happiest man in the world. However, when Brent gets frustrated with his weight gain, he storms out. Ace followed behind perfunctorily. Afterward, Ace asked to see Brent's medical report, but Brent doesn't want Ace to see his enlarged buttocks and turns Ace away. The next day, Ace went to her usual supermarket to buy ingredients. He saw fresh fish at the supermarket at a barely acceptable price, but when he was ready to buy, he noticed that the clerk was hitting the special price tag. He hid behind a pillar and watched, only to realize that the clerk had skipped this fish. It turned out to be taken by someone else first leaving Ace feeling regretful. The next day, he came to the supermarket again, but was surprised to find that it was closed for business. Faced with this change of heart, Ace had to change the main battlefield, so he walked to a new grocery store and purchased fresh fish to prepare dinner at home. Let's start with a potato salad. Start by slicing the onion and cucumber. Add salt to each and let's eat for 10 minutes. Cut the ham into fan leaves. Cut the potatoes into 2-centimeter cubes and cook them in water over high heat. In a bowl, add the stock powder and pour in the vinegar. Sugar and pepper in turn. Strain the shredded onion again and stir it in along with the cooked potato cubes and cucumber and ham slices. A delicious and beautiful potato salad is made. The next step was to handle the flounder. Make a cross cut in the skin of the fish. Blanch it in boiling water and set aside. Then prepare the stock. Cook water. Cook in wine. 
Soy sauce and marin in a pot. Turn on the heat and bring to a boil. Then add the flounder. Prepare another small pot with a lid. Cover it and you can't sit and wait for the mat. A smiled happily as he watched Brent's face of contentment. It didn't take long for the table to be swept clean of their delicacies. Happiness may be as simple as this. Enjoying delicious food together and savoring life together. The middle-aged man in front of me was twisting his waist in front of his lover in a flirtatious manner. Who knew that just turned around and blushed? It turned out to be to see the mirror and the blossoming himself. At this point Ace had a bad feeling and was ready to sidestep and escape. Instead, he was pulled back by a handful of Brent. Brent also petulantly blames Ace for sneaking walks to the gym by herself. Let him get farther down the road of getting fat and say what you will next time you will exercise with him. As same-sex lovers, over the course of a long love affair, Ace also has a moment where he wavers from his choices. The next day, he arrives at the home of his grocery shopping partner, Claire. He looked at the Claire family before him, who were immersed in their heavenly home. An inexplicable sense of melancholy suddenly flooded its heart. Brent is nice but Ace's deepest secret. Meanwhile, the bigwigs at the law firm are intent on putting Ace in charge of the business. When he asked Ace if she would want to start another business after she got married, Ace, however, did not hesitate to deny any intention to marry his partner. This left the teacher with a shocked look on his face. At this point, Ace was actually speechless. Brent in front of him kept showing himself pictures of the bride, but with a small mixture of envy and regret. Ace's heart ached for a moment as he watched Brent's eyes redden with emotion. If you can't give him the wedding you want yourself, make up for it with a memorable date. Sure enough, Brent immediately turns cloudy when he hears that Ace is taking time off to be with him. The weather was as sunny and bright as I thought it would be, and the date wasn't as you know what as I thought it would be. Brent originally thought his date would be like this. In fact, it was a date that cost Brent half his life. The luxury of coffee is certainly not there either. Cheap Ace will give you a glass of tap water at most. He looked at Brent, who was panting and nearly exhausted. Ace energetically says he's going to treat his sweetheart and make him a love brunch. That calmed Brent down quite a bit. Prepare 250 grams of high gluten flour. 50 grams of low gluten flour. Caster sugar cannot be more will be fat. Stir in the 200 grams of preheated yogurt until fully incorporated. Then pour it into the flour and start kneading. This physical job is definitely reserved for Ace. Soft Brent is in charge of adding low gluten flour. On the side to prevent sticking. Shape the dough and place in a heat-resistant bowl with plastic wrap. Set your microwave to 40 to 50 degrees in heat for about 35 minutes to let it ferment. Mince a medium-sized onion and add 3 grams of cream to the pan and saute until colored. Add one-third of the canned tomatoes. Overnight marinate the chicken thighs in curry powder and yogurt and dump them in with a brain. When the curry starts to bubble, put a little salt and sugar for fine-tuning. The moment the aroma scurried up, Brent squinted happily. At this point, the fermented dough also expands. A love meal. Of course, two people finish it together. Half of the dough for one person. Spread on greased paper and flatten. Grab a large handful of cheese and place it in the center of the crust, wrapping it up like a bun. Repeat once more to flatten. Place in pan over medium low heat and bake for three minutes. A nice upside down pan. Flip and fry again until golden brown and you're ready to serve. The crust is crispy on the outside and the inside is soft and silky. And the slight sweetness of the dough is a perfect match for the savory cheese. One more bite of chicken curry with milk drizzled on top before serving. The creamy flavor with the sweet and sour tomatoes and the tender and juicy chicken was heavenly. Seemingly banal and irrelevant, they fulfill each other at the table. It's like the two of them on a daily basis. A drop in the ocean of people, but with just a glance, you're the only one who's the best match. One muscle in meets beaver. Just thinking about it makes your blood run cold. And this Halloween cosplay also features a sprint. But before they could enter, the two saw them start to show their love. Before who met again a year after the fact, before we even start catching up, the darkness is already rising. Brent looks intent on showing off the couple's ring, and Jeremy immediately backhanded a love fest. All of this was concocted by muscle cops. I wonder if this will be the popular chef's overalls this year. In no time at all, a meal that made everyone's mouth water was complete. Served with a bouncy steak fried rice, the American style also temporarily suppressed the climbing of both groups, except for Jeremy popping in with a few uncomfortable words every now and then. This Christmas dinner was also a treat, just as the meal was ending and starting to wind down. Brent asked Sun how you guys met. It turns out that Sun was Jeremy's tutor during college, but the thoughtful attorney, Ace, immediately sensed something was wrong. Only Sun's expression began to complicate. Sun explained hastily. <laughs> Brent cast an envious glance just as Sun finished. The next day, Ace is invited by her parents to help pick out a burial tower for a hundred years from now. In the evening, he would have dinner with his parents, and tonight Brent would be left to enjoy a lonely dinner. Brent? 
who has been deeply inspired by Ace, is at this point squealing with excitement over snagging a special on pork chops. Start by slicing half an onion lengthwise into thin slices. Specialty pork chops yards on tin foil. Oven heated. Meanwhile, prepare a skillet and add the sliced onions. Pour in the precise for zero. CC of dipping sauce and 60 CC of purified water. Bring the sauce to a boil and then reduce the heat. Egg sneak into while a sizzle away. Frousing rice also needs to be frosted to sizzle. The hot pork chops are reamed into strips and neatly packed into the onion pan. Pour half of the beaten egg mixture. Turn up the heat and cook the sauce until it bubbles. Then pour in the rest of the egg mixture. Slightly solidified, can be turned off the heat spread on the crystal soft white rice. Frank can wait to get started. The onions soak up the sweet and salty sauce and are paired with the crispy meat of the fried pork chops noodle coating. The sweet grease melts with the egg. This sinful pleasure is a real turn on. The weight loss and all that was long behind him, until a cry of I'm back brought him back to reality. To look at the gift box of strawberries, Ace handed him, listening to Ace Mother's instructions to take care of Ace herself. Brent's heart begins to release, but then it was learned that Ace Mother was interested, and in having Brent co-purchase the cemetery, he began to drift off again. This is treating himself like his daughter-in-law, so she can't be so tactful in acknowledging her daughter-in-law. Just because the cooking was so good, his girlfriend broke up after eating it. Today's dinner for two men change places and change protagonists, but the constant remains the enchanting Brent. His co-worker, Thor, is a fast-talking, big, straight man who's usually in a state of cheek, but he suddenly called out to Brent with a stony face, and Brent had a bad feeling about it. He rushed to the store manager to discuss the situation and inform Thor about his dinner date. It's not possible that he's taken a liking to himself, is it? Instead, the store manager thought that Thor was not bad and was young and fit enough to try it out. Brent, however, warns the store manager that Ace is the only one in his heart. In the evening, Brent apprehensively arrives at Tor's house to look through the vanity mirror and other items in the room. Brent deduces that he and his girlfriend used to live together but recently split up. Tor doesn't know if he can, and Brent worries that he's not really going to confess to himself. Is he? He hurriedly pursued to the purpose of the day. Tor, however, sold out and instead told a story about himself and his girlfriend. My girlfriend is a gentle and virtuous woman who cooks well-balanced meals and has excellent knife skills, but the only thing that was poor was the flavor of the meal. Thor can only compensate his taste buds with a good meal at lunchtime, but he didn't have the pasta he wanted to eat that day, so he bought the required ingredients and interrupted the dinner his girlfriend was making. He pushed her out of the kitchen. Thor started by preparing the largest pot and patting half the garlic while the water was boiling, cut the bacon into large chunks, then prepare the pan for the wool, and the garlic to the pan with the bacon and carefully toss over low heat. The girlfriend couldn't help but get up and move over when she smelled the scent. Thor turned around and handed her the spatula to help. While they prepare for egg yolks himself, add a generous amount of powdered cheese, pour in half a carton of whipped cream, and put in a small spoonful of granulated sugar. He began to stir constantly until it was uniformly fine, and a large amount of salt was added to the pot of boiling water. The girlfriend questioned it for nutritional reasons. Thor, however, insisted that it would be delicious. Then you put the pasta for two in the pot to use up the broccoli that your girlfriend prepared. Bring to a boil and strain the water. Then pour the silky noodles and vegetables into the pan and stir fry a few times in succession. Remove from the pan and serve in bowls. Finishing with a sprinkle of salt black pepper. Tor punch girlfriend the chance it's done. With that, the two begin to taste. Girlfriend is more than ready to describe how delicious it is. But then the conversation turned and the girlfriend was even crying. <laughs> Thor was directly confused by his girlfriend's maneuver, and then they just broke up. Bren also feels sorry for the two's relationship as well. He asked cautiously when he came home and saw Ace busy in the kitchen. Bren gave a satisfied smile. Perhaps getting the approval of a loved one is the happiest thing of all. It's obviously a partnership, but it's an unexpected blessing. Although Brand is alluring and charming, he is not the favorite in attorney Ace's heart. However, there is no harm without comparison. While Ace's hands are busy unclogging the drain, his ex is only whispering in his ear. On the flip side, Brand bought a host to help with the process. Ace had reserved all the ingredients for dinner, but his predecessor used them all and didn't care. Brand, on the other hand, would go out and rave by it immediately without saying a word. He only did it so that Ace could have fun making Christmas dinner. This year's feast is destined to be different from previous years. Brent suggests a different cuisine, and Ace throws his hands up in the air. Then the next step is to start the work. Marinate the beef tendon in red wine overnight ahead of time. Add olive oil to a cast iron skillet and turn up the heat to medium-high and sear the meat until it is sizzling. 
Add out 5 minutes of cooked beef into a thickly sliced onion. Toss until golden and soft, then layer with beef. Reserve red wine and water to make a secret sauce. Pour into a pot not over the beef and bring to a boil. Then carefully skim off the froth. Cooking stew dishes just makes the hearts in. Ace lines have deepened a bit. Take advantage of this waiting lull. Peel the carrots and cut them vertically in thirds. Then straight quarters, removing the hearts. Stem the mushrooms and wipe them clean with a damp paper towel. The broccoli is simply blanched to retain the bright green color, making it more appetizing. Salads are not afraid to cool and can be made ahead of time. Special bacon cut into small slices and fried in a pan until crispy. Tear lettuce into small pieces and soak in water. Start a pot of hot water and carefully place the iced eggs into the hot water to make spa eggs. Two tablespoons each of unsweetened yogurt and cheese powder. Add salt and black pepper to make a salad dressing. The smell of meat wafted through the smoky kitchen. The beef should be simmering softly. Add the reshaped carrots. After 20 minutes, add the two May Queen potatoes and mushrooms and continue to cool for the full three hours. Throw in five seasoning cubes to taste. While Brent was washing his hands, spread the bottom with the soaked romaine lettuce and sprinkle with bacon. Beat with spitzel eggs and drizzle with full salsa for serving. Serve the beef garnished with broccoli and a dollop of whipped cream. Watching them savor their Christmas dinner made me finally understand. Meeting the right person at the right time will lead to true happiness. As a lawyer, being asked this fateful question, Ace quickly brainstormed a response. He finally realized what kind of excuse he was making was wrong. Getting a sincere answer from Ace, the landlord said his guess was right. It turns out that the landlord is worried that they'll move out this year. After all, it's a murder house. Ace, on the other hand, made it clear that she would renew her lease. When he got home in the evening, he told Brent everything that had happened today. Brent, on the other hand, wonders why rent is so cheap here. Ace also said outright that there had been a murder here. Brent jumped straight up in fear. He associated himself with frequent inexplicable chews down his spine, and he ran back to his room in fear. What Ace didn't say, however, is that his bedroom was the scene of the crime? Well, the next day, their best friend invited them over for a get-together. It takes Brent's mind off the murder house for a while. Ace is also ready to bring the take on marinara to the table. Start by cutting one kilogram of pork paid into large, well-proportioned chunks, leave the white cores on the green onions, and add the thinly sliced ginger to the pot with them. When it bubbles up, skim off the surface foam, turn down the heat and simmer for an hour and a half. Drain the pork and take three cups of the broth you just made and pour it into the pot. Feel free to boldly add a TBSP of soy sauce, cooking wine and castor sugar. Next, put the meat back in the pot and cover it. Turn it on low and simmer for half an hour. A thick, oily marinade will flavor the meat, and when it is dumped, it will be heated over a small fire for a quarter of an hour. The marinated pork is done. The overflowing aroma tantalized the chatting duo to look back frequently. Soft and creamy dish in Brent's eyes. Arrogant Jeremy just says it's average cooking made with average seasonings. The mouth, however, was honestly barfing. Ace made black beans that were also slammed as a dish, but the reversal came faster than the wind, and this arrogant sensory experience left him stunned. He hurriedly changed the subject and said that his boyfriend was involved in the New Year's Eve party preparations. He has worked with many stars. Jeremy's vanity explodes big time as he watches Brent look envious and like a silly white boy. The atmosphere slowly warmed up as the conversation opened up. When they talk about how gays are not lucky to spend New Year's Eve with their families, they let their siblings do it for them. And of the four, Ace was the only one who didn't. There was a moment of awkwardness, and the party ended on an unpleasant note. Out of a million loyalties to Brent, the thought of his eyes full of sheer love, even in the face of a beautiful woman who has nothing to offer, Ace's attorney ironically refuses to do so. Though he reluctantly accepted the gift at the strong request of his co-workers, but it wasn't until then that he realized that the handsome masquerade, in the end, couldn't escape the fate of his presbytes. After the two enjoy a blissful dinner in the evening, Bran asks him what he wants for his 50th birthday. He answered without thinking about the presbyopic glasses. Brent, however, looks at him with a surprised face, helpless to argue with the lawyer's mouth. The next day, they went to the store and after selecting the right glasses, Ace decided to buy them herself. Brent, however, insists on giving it to him as a birthday present. But after looking at the price, he thought about it and said it would be good to split it in half. Even so, Brent felt a little awkward. Originally, Ace was very concerned about his age. After all, at 50, the masked writer is no longer young. After attending the funeral of a college friend, he and Brent decide that their birthday is going to be a big one. They are only paying tribute to what was once a beautiful youth, so roll up your sleeves and start doing it. First, let's deal with the clams. Put the clams in a pot of cold water after spitting out the sand. Bring to a boil, 
and then skim off the foam. Season with salt and turn off the heat as soon as the shells open up, and then deal with the spring-filled oleander. In a bowl, add a tablespoon each of soy sauce and granulated sugar, and a pinch of wabi-sabi stock powder. Blanch the cauliflower over cold water and cut into bite-sized pieces. Squeeze out the water and toss in the dressing sauce. Sprinkle with white sesame seeds. Cold sesame cauliflower is done. Time the sushi rice to cook and transfer them from the pot to a large bowl. Add the sushi vinegar made with vinegar, sugar, and salt, and whisk three times left and three times right. Take the time to make a sushi ingredient. Grab back a special on tuna, and a make a head omelet. The same knife work reshape the shrimp and more eel. Avocado with a little lemon juice for color. Place the sushi on a large plate and spread it out as thinly and flatly as possible. Coffee-colored more eel is placed first, followed by special tuna. Fried egg, avocado, and shrimp. Put a nice color on top and finish with a garnish of some soy salmon eggs. Scattered sushi is fine. Make the last big dish with a band. Cut chicken breasts into large chunks and carefully rub them with wine soy mayonnaise. Salt and ginger paste to taste. Thicken the pasta, coat it and fry it in a frying pan. Cut the remaining avocado into long strips and coat and fry them as well. The essence of the cuisine lies in constant innovation. It was plated and served, and it was met with adoring cheers from Brent. In front of me is a birthday wish from a loved one, and the warmth of the light overflows the screen. So what's the point of a birthday? Maybe it's a celebration of having the love of your life on your side this year. While you're trying to live it up, I said in front of my parents that I was going to break up with my boyfriend, and I didn't realize how much they would react. They've defaulted to Brent as their daughter-in-law, so when they say they're going to sell their house, go into a nursing home and write a will, they've taken Brent into account. If something happens, then Brent gets half of the estate as well. But Ace has been exposed to too many divorce cases lately, and it's given him pause. First, the couple who own Brent's door. They seem to be in love on the surface, but then they turn around and pull the plug on each other. They went through a divorce and even the child support terms needed to be negotiated through an attorney. There's a big old death wish. And then there's the divorce complaint that attorney Ace himself received. Man cheated of money in online dating but obsessed with divorce. His wife has no choice but to turn to a lawyer. But it does not in any way redeem the husband's first love. So much so that Ace is actually taken aback when he hears that Brent is part of the legacy. But the day has to go on. So let's make a Singaporean meal first to keep the pressure on. Start by mincing to pieces of ginger. In the morning, add less water to the pan rice as you would for cooking rice. And put in half of the grated ginger. Garnish with sliced green onions and a little sesame oil. And a treasured bay leaf to gently cover one. Take a boneless chicken thigh. Cut it into slices and add a pinch of granulated sugar and salt. Press the button to start the essence cooking. Slice the washed cilantro stems and add the grated ginger you just left behind. Save the cilantro leaves for garnishing the plate. The main meal of Hainanese chicken rice is completed. And the side dishes also do a Southeast Asian flavor. Deseed and slice the eagle claw chilies. Coarsely chop one clove of garlic and saute and pop them in salad oil. When the vegetables and other simmering soft, add the leaves. Drizzle oyster sauce fish sauce sugar a little. A little bit of soul pepper too. The plated dishes are nothing less than the caliber of the restaurants out there. Tender chicken thighs with fresh green pepper greens. Brent squinted comfortably but secretly regretted the store manager, unbeknownst to me. Sometimes separating is a way to accomplish better things for each other, instead of letting the rest of our lives pass in mutual loathing. Behind every successful man, there is a great woman, but there may also be a great man. Brent recently took over as store manager with the support of Ace Attorney, but the daily drudgery of the job took up almost all of his time. Even eating together in the evenings has become a luxury, and breakfast is even more of a concern. Even then, Ace didn't have a single complaint. Until one day, he sees Brent out stealing high-calorie food. He realized how much pressure his job was putting on him, so Ace decided to have dinner with him tomorrow night, no matter how late it was, and he's going to make a dish that's Brent's favorite. Then the main course is chicken in oil. Without further ado, let the crafting begin. Choose a special chicken thigh, the thicker part of the meat under the knife without cutting it off, and slice the thigh area to double its size. One egg beaten with a large spoonful of soy sauce and a little pepper followed by the meat to marinate for half an hour. For better flavor, you have to flip him in the middle, slice the babe squash, cut off the tips of the cannellini beans, dry them and set them aside with the sliced squash. To make another super tasty sauce, to seed the eagle claw peppers and mince them with the scallions, add a little ginger and garlic paste, two tablespoons of soy sauce and vinegar, and one and a half tablespoons of granulated sugar for freshness. Fry the pumpkin slices in a frying pan for about two minutes, then add the cannellini beans and continue frying for one minute. Remove the marinated and flavored chicken thighs and coat them with tahini, evenly coating the seams and edges as well. 
This makes it crispy and flavorful when fried. Fry until golden brown on both sides, then remove and control the oil. Grant looked at the steaming fried chicken leg in front of him and couldn't help but crack on. Surely a pair with a heart of gold. The appetizing dinner begins. Crispy chicken thighs with a sweet and savory sauce that bursts with juice in one bite. The fried pumpkin is crispy on the outside and sticky on the inside. While the kidney beans are crispy and sweet, both saw the best of themselves in each other's eyes. Life may be all about doing your job and living comfortably. Love doesn't die, and true hearts live forever. Attorney Ace meets his mother-in-law for the first time, not realizing that Brent is more nervous than he is. After a few pleasantries, the air was suddenly quiet. The next moment, however, he was rewarded with a compliment. Ace was overwhelmed by the sudden praise. Brent, however, was off to himself and chiming in, just as both sisters are proud of Brent's choice. But Brent's mom had a stony expression on her face and didn't say a word. It made Ace look jittery inside. Then came the dying session. Ace handpicked this restaurant. It is the high diet lao of Japanese food, in terms of class and flavor. After everyone had eaten and drank, Brent's mom threw out a heavy topic. The atmosphere was tense for a moment. Mom also explained the purpose of the meeting. It turns out it's because one lives a life where one doesn't know which will come first, tomorrow or the unexpected. If the white hair is sent to the black hair, then Ace can only come to Brent's funeral as a friend. This meeting is about trying to make everyone a family, thus re-establishing their relationship, and Mom has accepted them from the bottom of her heart. Although the eel rice the other day was crispy and soft and very tasty, but it's also true that it cost a fortune. Ace really went big for his future mother-in-law. He's going to have to scrimp and save to make it through this bout. Soak the lamb's lettuce for half an hour, then drain and bring a separate pot of water to a boil. Stir-fry the julienne carrots and sesame oil, then add the lamb's quarters and keep stirring until the sesame oil coats them. Invite the mentai call you've been hoarding for months out of the freezer. For another fine do, start by blanching the spinach in a pan. The sole potpourri base is then made with the water, in which the kombuka was soaked this morning, with an equal amount of wine added to the water. For the dipping sauce, you get the scallion sesame sauce, a heaping tablespoon of white sesame paste, and two tablespoons each of soy sauce and vinegar tossed in. The stock in the fridge was washed and palletized, and it was the turn of the collector's edition, induction cooktop to take its place. When it is served, the hero makes his entrance right on time, washes his hands and sits down, waiting for his lover to throw in his happiness. Shimaji mushrooms and fried bean skins with hot spinach, followed by the grand finale of pancetta, dipped in all colors of sauces. It's like the five flavors of life, and it's a joy to the heart. Finish it off with Brent's favorite ramen grand shaft. From light to rich, from green to twilight, the sun is the morning and the moon is the evening, and you are the morning and the evening.